Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. Today let's discuss a new topic and the name of the topic is Salutation. What is Salutation? To understand that, let's first look at the definition of silt. Silt is fine sand, clay or any other material which is carried by running water. Okay? Saltation is a very common activity which takes place wherever there are rivers. It is basically the deposition of this silt by the action of flowing water or the river. Now the river as it is descending from the mountains in the north of Pakistan, it, they carry a lot of silt in the rivers and its tributaries. And as those uh, rivers and their tributaries, you know, they move along through the plains of Punjab and the Sindh, they deposit this silt which they are carrying along the course. Okay. Now what happens as a result of this siltation? I just drew, uh, you know, uh, a rough diagram of just imagine if this is the dam. This is the Tarbela dam. So the deposition of silt, you know, gradually leads to the uh, formation of mounds of, uh, you know, uh, silt which get deposited at the bottom because silt is heavy. Now, um, this has led to the creation, you know, con continuation of siltation has led to the creation of a 132 foot mound in the Arveda Dam. Now, this causes a lot of problems and what are those problems we'll be discussing in a while. So, siltation actually destroys the purpose of the dam. Why are dams actually built? They are built for the generation of hydroelectric power and they are built for, uh, you know, controlling of the floods and also storage of water but when silt accumulates in the bottom of the dams you know it results in a low storage capacity of the dam and then ineffective flood control plus the generation of electric power HEP is also affected hydroelectric power okay that is also affected because there's less water now and um, uh, the silt also damages the mechanical equipment now irrigation is also affected because we are an agricultural society, a country and we require a lot of water for irrigating uh, the land, okay, uh, agricultural land. And that water, if um, it's, it's, uh, uh, it comes from the dams as well, dams are storage structures which provide water throughout the year to these uh, fields uh, for the purpose of, you know, growing crops. Now, uh, if there is a silt deposited, you know, in the canals, then the, can, this leads to the blockage of the canals and it also uh, results in less water available for the crops for their cultivation. Now let us look at uh, the causes of siltation because we have to understand from where is the silt coming that, that is getting this deposited in the banks of the river, it is deposited, getting deposited at the bottom of the reservoirs, it is hampering uh, the HEP generation irrigation and various other activities. This silt is basically coming from Karakuram, Hindukash and Himalayas. And, um, uh, you know, in uh, reality, you know, it's not possible to completely avoid uh, the, you know, um, occurrence of siltation because it's by the action of the river. One of the activities that the river does is erosion. So whichever land that uh, the river gets uh, connected with, in connection with, you know, while uh, and during its course, it will start eroding that land and um, uh, carry with it you know those fine particles of sand and uh, sand and clay and uh, deposit it wherever it's going through uh, second reason is deforestation now this is a very important reason cutting down of trees actually uh, weakens the structure of the land it is uh, the roots that hold the land intact but if the roots are absent the trees are cut down then the land will not stay firm and the land will become you know susceptible to erosion so what all uh, happens as a result of siltation let's talk about that so let's concentrate on the effects now what does siltation uh, lead to siltation leads to uh, a reduction in the capacity of the reservoir we discussed that earlier it's uh, you know it's very understandable if uh, you know we fill half of the glass with the sand and uh, the remaining half is with uh, water you know the capacity of that glass would be lesser then the glass which is completely filled with water okay uh, then secondly it leads to the blockage blockage of uh, the canals you know that sand will get deposited in the canals and it will block them choking of the irrigation canals and sometimes the irrigation canals get so much blocked that it results in complete choking and then the water cannot flow as a result this damages uh, you know the flow of water to of uh, agricultural lands then the flow of the flood water is also hampered because uh, like our country is at present facing uh, you know terrible 
damages because of floods. One of the reasons why we you know, could not manage this uh, menace of flood is because of siltation as well. The capacity of our reservoirs is less. The capacity of the canals and uh, you know the rivers, uh, their uh, banks, they've already been damaged by um, siltation and uh, there was no repair done uh, so far. So, you know, this also results in a flow, the flow of the flood water being hampered. And then it finally damages the dam. Now, what can be done? Okay. Is there a, a way of, you know, controlling the situation? Yes. If we start off with large scale afforestation, meaning planting trees, especially at the foothills of uh, the mountains. Uh, why are we saying especially at the foothills of the mountains? So, let's pick up because we want to you know, stop the problem from where it's originating, from where it's uh, starting off. It's starting at the base of the mountains, from where the uh, river flows with full speed. And at that time, the main activity that the river is performing is erosion. So you have to control it then and there itself. Then uh, embankments of the canals have to be cemented. If they are cemented, then obviously, you know, uh, less of the erosion uh, will occur. And if the silt is getting deposited there in the canals, cleaning that uh, those canals would become easier because it's already cemented. Otherwise, cleaning becomes uh, a laborious task. And then systematic regulation of the flow of the water. This means that operating the river at a lower level during floods. Okay, because we don't want the river to flow at high speeds during floods. But at, at the other times, we can allow the flow of the water to, uh, you know, an easy flow of water. So that all those sediments that are accumulating so far in the reservoirs and in the canals, you know, they can be easily washed off. And uh, this might, uh, you know, result in the minimization of the dangerous impacts of siltation. Okay, so this was all about siltation. It is not a difficult topic. We discussed the definition. We talked about what silt is. We talked about how silt is damaging. Siltation is damaging um, our land and the purpose of, uh, you know, uh, the dams. And uh, we looked at the causes, effects and control. Okay, so till my next video, I'm Nida Umar signing off. If you have any queries, any questions regarding this topic, you can post them down in the comment section down below. Bye-bye.